open. Welcome back to another episode of Late Night with Gersh. I am your host, Gersh One, and today's episode, we're going to be talking about the comments that you guys left in the last video. In the last video, I asked you guys all to answer a simple question. If you can create your hero click dream team regardless of what sets are out there if you want to create your own go ahead what dream team would you create and i got some very interesting answers so i'm going to read those off and then also if there's any other questions of course i'm going to read them so let's start off with the ultimate ninja who posted i've always wanted whiz with whiz kids to make a two by two Hulk with a ridiculous fool dial. You also go on to say that it would be awesome if the Hulk can pick up characters and throw them. That would be amazing. You would throw them into walls and shit. And then you go and say that that click versus the Avengers would be the battle report that you would love to see. And so would I. It would be amazing to have one massively awesome Hulk versus the entire Avengers and see what happens. So that's a, that's a really good idea. And um, it gives me idea for future narrative campaigns. Uh, let's move on to Jacob O'Neill. Uh, a dream team of like mercenaries like Deadpool, Deathstroke, etc. Yes, that would be really awesome if you, we can take both DC and Marvel <laughs> mercenaries, put them together and just have them fight the Avengers. They got hired by somebody badass or something. So that, that's a really good idea and another um, thing that I need to note when it comes to narrative campaigns because we can do that. I have a dead pool. I'm pretty sure it'll be easy to get a death stroke. It'll be really fun to play. Um, and then Christopher Moreno says, Dream Team Battle Report would love to see the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles take on the Avengers. Yes, that would be awesome. Um, and then you go on and you list all the different powers that each one of the Ninja Turtles would have and uh, really like that. That's a really good concept. Now I have to, or finding figures of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles to fit in the same size as Hero Clicks. Um, I think that would be the challenge. I'm going to hit up um, some manga store or something, some Japanese store to see because they always have like the little figurines. I don't know if they have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, but who knows? I'll, I'll check it out. And then, make sure I don't uh, skip anybody. Alex Taco Bell, <laughs> he says, I know the question was from last week, but I think a God of War set would be interesting. And yeah, the mythical creatures would be amazing. And then you go on to say that you would, like you're really interested to see how they would handle the gods and the titans. Um, yeah, you, you say that they would be awesome if they were chases, but there's so many gods that uh, chases, there wouldn't be enough, but that doesn't matter. You could still make like the main gods, the chases, and then colossal figures would be amazing. Um, especially from like the first God of War when he fights that giant Minotaur. Can you imagine that as a colossal figure? That'd be awesome. Um, so I really like that answer. Alex Taco Bell. <laughs> And then moving on to Marvel X42, you say Star Wars, that's all you say, Star Wars. So I'm guessing that's the team, your dream team is Star Wars. <laughs> hey, let's go with that. Maybe Jedi's, were you, were you thinking Jedi? Or just like Star Wars in general? Uh, but hey, Star Wars characters versus the Avengers would be a really good idea. Let's hope that when the new movie comes out, they put out um, figures. Uh, like any type of figure that can fit in the hero click realm and not look goofy um, and maybe maybe we might throw in some Star Wars stuff and then TJ Delgari says or maybe a Young Justice team Ars oh and then you go and you list all the Young Justice figures yeah that 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 can that could be done that would be really cool because those figures I wonder Wonder Girl, Superboy, you can, yeah, we, we can find those figures and do a battle report with them. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good concept. Um, and then Batboy21 says, the new Suicide Squad team, including the Joker. So, villains versus, or oh, DC villains versus the Avengers. Yeah, that would be cool. Cameron Elia says that hat do you think the best marvel starter is max 15 to 20 dollars what do you think the best marvel starter set is 
max 15 to 20 dollars you know what i'm not sure to tell you the truth i haven't bought a starter set in a very very long time um i would just say get the, the newest dc um starter set because it's the newest go for it um other than that i'm not too sure sorry i can't really help you out with that one um cameron did i say carmen cameron sorry um now lula cost says the original power rangers with different powers to separate them for example the blue one being a super a support piece the red one key on leadership green being a powerhouse etc etc um power rangers would be an awesome um team to build and i actually think i still have some of the like these little power ranger figures so that might be a possibility later on uh, i'm not sure you're just gonna have to subscribe to check it out and then Grant Jackson says, Thanos would kill them all. Yes, all the guys that you guys have listed, Thanos would destroy them. If he has the Infinity Gauntlet. If he doesn't, I don't think so. Uh, Robin Prier says, you guys are the reason I play Hero Clicks. I've been going to my local comic shop to, oh. I'm even going to my local comic shop tomorrow for their weekly Hero Click Day. That's awesome. It's really good to hear that you are into Hero Clicks because of us. And hopefully you have as much fun playing the actual game as you do watching our battle reports. And if you have any suggestions as to how the battle reports can improve, then uh, let me know. And um, yeah, thank you. That, that's that, I really like to hear that kind of stuff. Um, now, Skits Pick says... Uh, like Lucost says, Lulacost says, you should find some figures to represent the original Power Rangers. Put them up against the Avengers, and then you list off the other thing. So that's two for Power Rangers. That, that's good. Um, giving me ideas. And um, Cameron says, please make a Deadpool versus Wolverine. Yeah. Um, we. I think we. Why haven't we done that? Yeah, I don't know why we haven't done that. Expect that pretty soon. And then TJ Delar TJ says, Justice League of America, Trinity War, Batman, the Superman, new 52 starter set. Oh, I, that's your, I'm guessing, oh, you're just listing off what you would want to see in a team. Cool. <laughs> All right, Alex W, are you guys going to get any of the new Trinity War stuff. Yes, like I said, or I didn't say this, but we're gonna get a starter set and we might do a narrative campaign with them. And by might, we mean yes. We're, we're, we're probably gonna do a narrative ca campaign very soon. Um, and then if you don't know with narrative campaigns, we're probably gonna do a couple battle reports. And ev for every one battle report that we put up on YouTube, a s another battle report will be put on Patreon. And you guys, of course, if you're a Patreon subscriber, now it's only a dollar for everybody. So if you are one of those guys, then you'll be able to see all the extra battle reports that come in the, um, the narrative campaign. And of course, the prices are lower now. So check that out. But yeah, we're, we're definitely gonna get into the Trinity War stuff. Um, whether we're gonna buy boosters, I'm not sure. Okay, TJ says, Oh, in the Martian Manhunter Trinity Wars. <coughs> we'll see if we can pull it. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna get boosters. We'll see. Robin Prier says, Deadpool, Deadstroke. Oh, you're, yeah. So you, these are the uh, mercenaries that you would like to see fight against the Avengers. And um, yeah, didn't you say, didn't you put this before? I don't remember. Okay, uh, Tremor17 says, just a quick correction on the Resident Evil. They have the STARS team, I don't know if you have to separate that, which have two units. You have USS, the Umbrella Secret Service, and they have BSAA, which have characters from both. I think it would be a great set. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I, I don't know too much about Resident Evil, but if there's enough characters, then yeah, definitely. It would be amazing to have a Resident Evil set. And Doug the Joker says, I've always wanted to see the Wrecking Crew take them on with some strong relics. That team ability 
the team ability the wrecking crew can use is awesome um is this from an older set because i know the wrecking crew is an older comic i believe i'm not even sure who who's in the wrecking crew the wrecking crew consists of bulldozer pile driver thunderball and wrecker and then in the um comic image they are fighting thor um I'm pretty sure we could, we could probably find these figures for cheap too because if they're old sets and then just like you said give them relics to buff them up. Um, yeah I could see this happening. Um, so thank you Doug the Joker. I will definitely look into that. Edward Borrell says, okay I'm gonna go with Namek and the Kryptonians from the Man of Steel led by Robot Superman though. They would all have the MB Indom maybe? Did you misspell Indom? And modifications ability that enables them to be upgraded with anything from the universe or genre. Did you write more? You put dot dot dot. So Kryptonians led by Robot Superman is what I am getting. Edward Borrell. If not, correct me if I'm wrong. But that would be cool to see a Kryptonians versus the... Avengers and that is all the comments from last week's late night with Kirsch thank you guys so much so I have gathered the information and um, again thank you guys so much for commenting I really love reading your guys's comments and it gives me an insight to what you guys would want to see so you guys would want to see uh, mercenaries you guys would want to see Superman kryptonites definitely Power Rangers Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and all other sorts of awesomeness. So yes, um, thank you guys so much for commenting all those things. Now let's move on to next week's question. I have another question for you guys to answer, and that is, what is your favorite Hero Click team build so far? Is there something from the Trinity Wars that you guys really, really love to play with? If it is, comment down below. And of course, I'm really interested to know what that is, and we might be able to see it in a battle report. Now, let's move on forward to my other piece of Late Night with Gersh, where I tell you guys what I've painted so far. So this week I painted this guy right here. I forget what it is. It's one of the Necron spider thingy-majiggies. Um, but of course, continuing the black and green um, color scheme um, that my friend wanted me to paint. And of course, this is removable for right now because, you know, storage, I guess. I don't know. Um, but that's one of the guys. Now, let's move on to the other guy that I have painted. And, well, it's not done painting, but it is a Tyranid um, Hive Tyrant with wings and no arms. Uh, well, one, no arms for one slot. Look at that guy. I haven't painted or I haven't finished painting its face, but I will pretty soon. Look at those wings. And then, of course, it is in the High Fleet Behemoth, I believe, um, color scheme. And that was it for this Late Night with Gersh. If you guys have any questions or comments you guys would like me to answer next week, be sure to comment them down below. And um, yeah, guys, thank you guys so much for being awesome, liking, sharing, and commenting on all of our videos. It really helps us out. Um, and you know, take a second, a quick, quick second to just go onto one of our videos and share it on your Facebook or Twitter because that really brings in more views, which in return allows us to create more videos for you guys. So again, thank you guys so much for watching and being awesome. This was Gershwan with One Mind Syndicate signing out. Oh, <laughs>